what's going on guys this is mast welcome back to more smite conquest today we're playing thanatos in the jungle i've been getting a lot of requests for thanatos jungle so we're finally getting back to it it's been a long time since we did a video i think it's been six seven months since the video we did a ranked one last time so we're finally getting back to it uh thanatos is one of the least consistent junglers in smite he's somebody that has a lot of really bad games and some really good games um and a lot of it comes down to almost luck i mean he's definitely got a skill but like a lot of it does kind of come down to luck sometimes. It varies a little bit because it'll come down to matchups and just how things go. And one Miss Scythe can mean a lot because uh, Thanatos is capable of doing insane damage. But a lot of that damage comes down to his farm and his items. And uh, when you have a rough start, then that can go really, really badly. So basically, case in point, when you're playing Thanatos, you got to hit almost every one if you're actually going to be consistent. Meanwhile, Kakulkin is just kind of dying. So, uh, well, I think he just dies. What a wiggle. He's still dead, though. <laughs> that was actually that was actually a really good wiggle, but he's super dead. Uh, let's see. Can we grab his red or did he already get it? Uh, somebody already dropped it. What the? What start is that from Naja, dude? Oh, right, right. Naja got invaded by Ardeo. Ardeo did the uh, the invade strat for solo lane, so had kind of a weird start there. I was trying to figure out, like, who drops red? But I'm guessing that's what it was. Naja got over there a little earlier than normal because he couldn't really do other buffs too easily over there. Well, good start, man. We get a little little easy first blood thanks to our Freya. I'm cool with it. Uh, Athena died, though, which kind of sucks. And Huyi's almost dead, so we'll probably make our way over to Duo in a second and get them some pressure. Yeah, we can maybe do something here. I don't have a blink, but they didn't finish purple. And Huyi... Oh, oh, hang on. Let me just... Can I... Can I get the buff? <laughs> can I get the buff, Naja? Oh, my God. So rude. All right, I shouldn't be taking this farm. They can have that, my bad. I, like, I get I get in that mode, dude. I want all the farm, but we'll leave that farm. They're behind, it's cool. Go back real quick, grab some booties, head back towards the left side jungle. Best Freya NA, all right. I don't know about that, buddy, calm down. Um, yeah, soloing a Kakulkin at level two, I don't know about that, man. Yeah, as far as our build on Thanatos, we're going to be building uh, really a mixture of movement speed and penetration and cooldown for the most part is what you normally want to go. So we'll be going to Laria Boots and to Jotuns. Uh, from there, you've got quite a few options that depend on the game. They have enough healing this game that we'll probably go up Brawlers because that's going to give us some more pens so we do more damage with our with our abilities. Um, and then we also get to Anta heal them, which will be pretty good when we're dealing with a Guan, a Neath, and a Naja. So I think that'll be the build we look for. Guan getting a little low. My three's still down, though. That's actually one thing that's really good to note with Thanatos is uh, his three has a long cooldown and a lot of the time you want to use it for clear because it's just pretty effective to use it for clear. So he might have a kill if Rhea can get to him. We can actually body block off that Whoop. Whoop's pretty OP, man. Whoop is pretty OP. I don't know why I ulted. We don't have a kill here. <laughs> actually, I actually don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know why I would ever ult there. All right. Can we kill Akumba? Maybe they have an Athena here. Can we gank them at their purple or something? I don't know if we can. I just want to go on the Kumba, man. Oh, please let me catch you, man. Oh, he's so low. He's actually one HP. No, dude. He's actually one HP. And he's doing it. Yeah, he's doing a good job with his path there, too. Naja, this isn't your fight, bud. Not your fight, my man. <laughs> not the fight for you. Yeah, when Naja gets behind in a matchup like this, it's going to be rough. Although, actually, it's really not just a Naja thing. When you're behind against a Thanatos, it's going to be rough. I'm just hoping I'm just hoping we get an actual game, dude. I have tried to record this video so many times, and what keeps happening is on our team or on their team, I keep getting DCs, and it's really annoying. A lot of time, it's rage quits, whether it's from me or not. You know, I'm not saying I go 20-0 and 0 every game. Uh, but whether it's from me or not, normally somebody's been rage quitting on one team or the other. It's been pretty obnoxious. So maybe we can have a real game. It won't get F6 at 10 and we can actually get a Thanatos video. Sounds pretty good to me. Because it's actually just been terrible trying to record this. I've played well. I've played fine. It's like, it's actually one of those things where because he's Thanatos, it's hard to get good games to record. Because a lot of the time, if you have a good game, they have 6 at 10 and it kind of sucks. So... Uh, maybe somebody will feed or something, so it makes it easier for this game to go a little longer, and we can actually get a video out of it, you know? Not just an F6 at 10. 
All right, um, Kokolkin mid, what does he have for active? Beads? So we're probably not going to kill him super easy. Kokolkin's actually a really good matchup into Thanatos um, when he has beads up, because what happens is we ult on him, he throws his ult, and while well, he beads is and then throws his ult, and uh, we just get destroyed is pretty much what happens. So it's a little bit of a scary matchup for that reason, and we'll have to watch out for that. When his beads are down, he's just kind of a free kill, but his ult's really good against our ult, so we'll have to watch out. I think we can just kill left. Because I think we can burst Guan. Like, Ardio's doing enough damage right now. There we go. See, perfect damage. Actually perfect damage right there. That was really clean. So, we can check their jungle real... Nasha is still level 4, the poor guy. Uh, yeah, we can check the jungle real quick. Look for a little invade. If Freya wants to do a little... Oh, she's going to red. That's fine. I was going to say if Freya could do a little whoop action. This man has good movement. It's definitely one thing to keep in mind when you're playing against Thanatos and when you're playing with Thanatos. Movement is what destroys Thanatos. When you can juke the scythe, it makes it so much more difficult to play him. So having good movement where it makes it tough to hit that is really important. Hang on, Kumba ult? Or not? He's 1 HP again! Who you do things? Oh, God, man. Stupid Kumba. He's got all that fat keeping him safe. There might be a Najah coming for our ass, too, so we gotta be a little bit careful. I think we should be alright, because that's pretty much full HP, but... Could have gotten bad, because I don't, I don't have a beads for Najah ult. I built really greedy going into Blink, because Blink's nasty on Thanatos. So I just kind of accept that we're gonna get Najah ulted sometimes. And luckily, because we got that huge lead, uh, it hasn't been a problem, because Najah only just got ult. Makes it a lot easier. Yeah, we have crazy farm right now, man. So does Freya. Freya's insanely farmed. All right, let's head back to base real quick. We can go finish off that Jotuns. Uh, so one thing to keep in mind with Thanatos, we actually haven't really seen this part of him so far, but Thanatos has really, really good rewards for getting kills and continuing after. What happens is um, because of your passive, you get a five second cooldown reset when you kill people, and you also heal 20% of their max HP. So if you kill someone with a lot of max HP, you'll actually heal for more um, than like your own max HP, for example. Um... But it's really, really good on Thanatos to look for spots where you can get a kill, reset cooldowns at least to some degree, and then get another kill based off of that, if that makes any sense. So dual lane is kind of an especially good lane to gank. I don't think we can do anything to go on there since Ardio's got a clear wave. And maybe I was wrong! Oh no, I missed the one! See, like, look at the difference there, man. We actually do, like, half his HP with that, so it's such, such a big throw to miss that. Ah, I was hoping we could predict a juke. That's too bad. Ah! Uh, could get bad. Oh, we're fine. No, dude! Okay, that healing was gross. <laughs> that healing was really gross. Good stuff, man. What a cleanup. What a cleanup, dude. Wait, how did I... I healed off that. How did I not get the kill? Am I dead? No, we're fine. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why I stayed in tower. I don't know why I thought that would be a good thing to do. Alright, looks like boys are dying over in dual lane. I guess, I guess it's boy is dying over in dual lane. Alright, let's go check out right side jungle. Probably gank duo again. Uh, looks like Naja's actually starting to get a spot where Naja should start to catch back up now. Because Naja actually has ultimate and can do a little bit more. Uh, and I'm also haven't invaded as much, haven't gotten as much pressure. So now as we stop putting levels into our one and Naja actually gets an ultimate to be basically the character Naja is, Naja kind of needs that ult. Uh, we're going to stop being just the absolute menace we've been. It's going to be a lot trickier. I think we'll put more effort into ganking duo um, for that reason. Speaking of which, does she know? She does not. She backflips to death. <laughs> you guys you like that? <laughs> Literally just just wait for her to flip. Just turn around, and wait for the flip. Catch her with a three. Ooh. Ooh, in middle lane. Can we clean it up? By the way, I'm maxing the three next after after the uh the two. Or sorry, after the one. Which you can you can do the two or the three. Uh-oh. Okay, good. Uh that's bad timing, but we're okay. I don't know if Najah has ult, so I'm trying to run. Oh! So close, dude. 
Yeah, I wanted to get away from Naja there. See? See? It's it's close to actually Naja catching up a bit. Naja's already level 9 again. Naja's doing some damage. Just like that. Leads disappearing a bit. It's not actually... We're not going to actually lose our lead or anything, because obviously we're doing absolute work, but we're going to stop being so crazy snowballed for a while. Yeah, that was so close. Oh, if I, if I just blinked for the Cuckoo, that would have been a lot better. I took too many tower shots just running through the tower like that. That wasn't worth... Oh, did Guan kill Ardeo? No. Did Ardeo just... I guess Ardeo just left lane, so he's just he's just taking tower. Makes a little more sense. This team has a pretty nutty late game, by the way, so we do have to worry about them getting to late game. Because uh, Kukulkin, Kumba, Naja, Guan, like, all fairly late game characters, so... Once they get there, it'll be kind of rough. Neath, not so much. Neath, Neath actually pretty early game. She's gotten shut down pretty well so far, which is nice. But the rest of them... Hang on, no wards. Get your wards out of here. See, I'm assuming there's like a Naja coming in. There's a Cuckoo coming. Oh, oh that hit the wall. <laughs> that sucks. That hit the wall. I don't think I can really do anything to get her out, so I'm saving ult. But we got ult to try and get ourselves out. Yeah, there's four people there. We're gonna just dip over here. Oh, okay. Well, we're fine. Barely, man. If that if that Naja hit Sash, I think we die off of that. I think that Naja would have killed us. Yeah, again, no beads yet. We're about to get it though. We're about to get it though. So if I can not die for like three seconds, get the wave, and then head back for a beads, we'll be a lot safer. And I might want to go a Magi's actually, because they have a lot of hard CC. They've got Kumba, they've got Naja, they've got Guanol. So a Magi's after our brawlers could be really nice. Grab another sentry. All right, how are things going so far? Ardio doing well in lane. Who are you doing well in lane? Looks like Freya's falling behind a little bit. Cuckoo's starting to catch up. And then supports are both doing fine. So uh, I think we probably want to put a little more pressure towards mid because I haven't so far. Uh, if we can catch Cuckoo with his ult down. Speaking of which, did he ult? No, he tornadoed. Never mind. Minion. Ugh, I hate minions, man. And of course, we don't actually get the Naja ult there. That sucks. <laughs> minions ruins so many death size on Thanatos. Oh, almost got it. Hang on, ultimate up in one. Oh, God, we chunk. If I can get the hit. If I can, there we go. If I can get the hit, man. I don't even know what we hit. We hit somebody. Right? Or do we not? It, it ghost hit, apparently. I heard it. Hang on, I really want to clean this up, man. I really want to clean this up. No! He's going to dash away like a dickhead. Yeah, I know. Okay, you messed up. <laughs> you messed up, Neath. I don't know why she thought she could do that. Uh, there might be a Naja coming to kill me. There's a Cuckoo coming to kill me. And he got the red rip. Try to be cheeky. Yeah, I don't even I don't even know what to say right now. This game's getting really weird. It's just like it's just constant brawling right now, man. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but because I have a crazy lead, unless do we want magis? Yeah, yeah, we do. Damn it. I want I want Bloodforge, man. I was gonna say we'll go into a Bloodforge because we have a crazy lead. We're getting lots of kills, should be able to make use of it. But their CC is still terrifying, so I think we need a Magi's, and then we can work into a Blood Forge after, probably. By the way, a lot of people, uh, I kind of barely address this. You can max either of these after the one. Um, I actually honestly would recommend for 90% of people in 90% of situations, probably max the three. I know recently I went through a phase of maxing the two, and I see a lot of people do that, and I feel like really, like... I've played so many games for this video, and I've done both in those games. Uh, and honestly, like, so far, I've felt like the three just seems better, pretty much. The thing about the two is, especially when people get low, you get that crazy execute threshold speed, which is really nice. And you do get a lot of pen out of the ability. But it just doesn't feel worth, man. It really just doesn't. You three it so hard. There we go, get his meds down. If we get enough people here for damage, you can maybe kill. Oh, he can totally kill. Right, yeah? Oh, he's in passive. Got it. Freya trying to last it. All right. 
All right. <laughs> Last hit spam BGS. <laughs> pretty funny man all right let's actually go gank and eth real quick i feel like she's probably gonna see this coming but what she's not gonna see coming is the blink oh blink thanatosal okay um unfortunately that was a really short game i think that might have to be the game because i have not been able to get a longer video so uh hopefully we can get a longer one soon in the meantime we're gonna go and upload this one because hopefully it gives you guys still a feel for thanatos even though it's on the shorter side but thank you all for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy the video and I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down.